Let's handle file name extensions with Elixir. Useful to validate the type of format of files that we would like to allow. I am inside my playground directory where I create all of my Elixir projects. And I will type in this command to create a new Elixir project. And let's just run the test to make sure that everything works fine. Let's open up our folder of our new created Elixir project in our editor. Let's open up our test file and let's remove the auto generated test so we can add our own test. Let's just copy the same test. Let's paste it down. And this time it should be true instead of false. Change the file name here. Let's save it. Let's open up a terminal. Let's move it to a window here. Let's run the test. It should fail, of course, because we haven't created anything. Let's make our test pass by opening our main project file. And let's remove the auto generated hello world function. And let's add the following. We are going to need that a module attribute and let's add the following two functions. Now let's save it and let's get back to our terminal. Let's run the test. This time it should pass with green colors. Okay, so let's uh, break this down. The first thing that we are doing over here at the top is we're using these add symbols. This means that this is a module attribute. This can be used as a constant throughout our module. And we're using this Z0 here. It's used to generate list of words or strings. And everything inside here is separated by Y space instead of commas. It's like a, a more simpler way to create lists. If we go here to our terminal and we open up an IEX session here, let's just copy this down. Let's take the add symbol. Let's assign this to a variable and let's take the add symbol off. And this is what we get back. As you can see, this is just a list, a simple list of strings. So this is just a simpler way to create lists. 
and we are using it here as a constant at the top of our file because it's just easier you can see at a glance exactly the file extension that we are allowing here now the second thing that we do here in our valid uh, function is that we take a file this is just going to be a string uh, with a file path and uh, what we do here is to assign to this a uh, variable here the file the file extension we call this private func private function here and we pass in the file what this is going to do is going to take the string it's going to get passed to this function here and it will take the last uh, component of the pass uh, of the string and that's what is going to be returned and then you will convert everything lowercase so let me just demonstrate here what's happening if we make a variable in our terminal here in our IEX session and let's just create like a simulated path And it doesn't matter how many dots you you have you, this will always return the last component of the path so if we use that function and we pass in that file we're gonna get just the that JPG now the last thing that we do is that we are calling this enum function and we are passing in the list here the extension y list as a first argument and then we are passing the extension that we are getting here from our file as a second argument and this will check if the element that we are passing that is this file extension exists within the list that is this whitelist so if the extension that we pass in here is in this list then it will return true otherwise it's just going to return false that's a pretty simple straightforward way to validate a file format uh, thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it if you want to join the elixir army and get more elixir content visit the website elixirprogrammer.com